from Disney's Animal Kingdom. I'm back today to show you why you don't want to miss out on this park. Oftentimes I hear it said that this is a half a day park and I used to think the same thing. To come, ride the rides, eat some food, and I jet to the next park. But I spent some time here and I've realized that there's a lot more to do than just the rides. So I'm going to take you on an exploration today to show you all the magic that is Disney's Animal Kingdom. You're in for a wild ride. Let's go. Did you know that there are over 300 carvings on the Tree of Life? What a spectacular scavenger hunt game that would make. I'll be using the Genie Plus. Uh, I did not go straight to Avatar like most people do for Rope Drop. I didn't have the early morning, so I didn't want to stand in line, so I just bought an individual Lightning Lane. I think that's for about 2.30 today. My Genie Plus first pick was Kilimanjaro Safaris. Getting to the safaris early in the morning is a must if you want to see the animals as active as possible. And I just came up on the kangaroo, so I'm gonna turn the camera on so you can see them. As you can see, they're having their breakfast. So the Animal Kingdom caretakers go around as the park opens and place the meals out for all the animals. And this is when you'll see them the most active. Usually later in the day as it starts to heat up, they'll go hide in the shade and rest. So a lot of people, if you have the early morning and you hit the avatar, your next ride should be Kilimanjaro Safaris. If you don't have early morning, you, you can hit avatar and still hit Kilimanjaro Safaris, but I would just buy the individual lightning lane and then go to Kilimanjaro Safaris first.
what a spectacular safari. I really enjoy all the animals, getting to see everything. I hope you did as well. We're gonna go on the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail next. This is something I don't believe I've ever done. Uh, we've come here multiple times and we, we, we've never gone to Rafiki's, we've never done the Gorilla Falls. That's what I'm saying. When I say that we would come ride the rides, I would come and ride the rides and then just leave. There's so much more here to do. So we're gonna explore all that.
that concludes the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. I don't even know what to say. I can't believe we've never been in that. Uh, I've been to Animal Kingdom quite a few times. We always come here as a family. I don't believe we've ever been up there, so we've been sleeping on Animal Kingdom. Like I said, there's so much here to do that people just miss out on. You come for the rides, you grab some food, maybe a couple of drinks, and then you leave, and that's exactly what we've done. I said for years, Animal Kingdom was a half day park. There wasn't anything here. You come, you spend half a day, you park hop somewhere else, or you go to Disney Springs or back to your resort. That is not the case at all. I've experienced so much stuff here the last couple times that I've come. It's unbelievable the things that you have to do that people just miss out on. There's a lot more here than just the rides. That was phenomenal. Love seeing all the animals, the bird sanctuary, the gorillas. It's just phenomenal. Um, the shows, Finding Nemo, Lion King. We did Lion King when Addie was just a little girl. And I don't think we've ever done it since. I know we did it once. We did the, the meal plan show. I'm going next to Festival of the Lion King. So we're gonna bring that so you guys can see what you're missing out on if you haven't been there. Make sure that you book these trips. Um, do everything that you can in this park. All the trails, all the shows, everything is phenomenal. You're missing out. Oh, shiny object, pins. Thank you. Let's trade for the donut. Thank you. Have a great day. Easter for? Yeah. Do that one too. That is adorable. Have a great day. The celebration. Mister, besides, you think I'm the kid. Woman, welcome. Hey!
So I skipped Rafiki's Planet Watch. I'm gonna head back there in a little bit. After I used my Genie Plus for Lion King, I pulled another one for Expedition Everest. So we're gonna head there now. And then we'll go back and do Rafiki's Planet Watch. I don't think Kelly River Rapids is open. Uh, when I looked earlier, it was closed. So we're gonna, we'll check that out. We'll go walk through that area, but we're gonna do Expedition Everest right now. And then we'll go back to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Maybe we'll grab some lunch, see what other Genie Pluses we can pull. Maybe we'll go over into Avatar, but like I said, I've got the Avatar Flight of Passage later today, so maybe we'll do the V River Journey later while we're over there. Expedition Everest is a thrill ride for sure. I love it. Hope you enjoyed that POV ride. On the way out, there's a pin location as well. So I stopped by, traded some pins, picked up this boogie boogie pin, and I picked up this Mickey ears pin. This one has a different back, so I'm not even sure it's part of the pin trading. It does have the Disney logo on it, but may not be an actual legit pin trading pin maybe some other sort of pin or it may be a really old pin trading pin before they started stamping them because it looks pretty old so I grab those we're gonna walk back to Rafiki's grab something to eat on the way and we'll go see what Rafiki's is all about I we've never been there as a family by myself nothing so we're gonna check that out um, what's your favorite place in Animal Kingdom? I'd like to hear. Post down in the comments. Let me know where you go. Uh, what your favorite thing to do is. Is it the rides? Is it the food? The animals? I know I posted up some pictures in the annual pass holder Facebook groups and they went crazy. People love Animal Kingdom and there's a good reason why. Well, what's your favorite? Hello? Kayla? Hey, hi, please help. Could you bring out Poco? Right, okay. Okay, cool, in just a second, um, Kayla's gonna bring out a really awesome parrot, but have you, have you heard of parrots that can talk? Yes. Awesome, okay, so that is the ability we call mimicry. And have you heard of parrots screaming in the back? Yeah. yeah. Most of you have, it's horrible. 
And that screaming allows these birds to communicate throughout miles in the forest. I mean, that's where they live, right? And their, their voice is, is designed by nature for it. What's cool about that, though, is they can identify their friends by learning the language that they talk to each other with. They can have, like, regional dialects. And uh, do you have any treats I can steal? Oh, I love those. Yeah, and those. That's really good. Thank you so much. Um, so this guy here, he's a lesser self requested cockatoo. His name is Pogo. And that's Kayla. She's a Cuban. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, and then Poco, would you say hello? Hello? There it is. A tiny little hello for all of you. Um, he says some other stuff too, do you want to hear it? Yes. Okay. He does a really cute hi. 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 Isn't it cute? Hi. What about, what's she doing? Good job. Yes. Okay. Can we try to hi? Good job. What about your creepy laugh? Your creepy laugh? Good laugh. Thank you. Okay, so that is Mimic Room, and he's copying stuff that he's heard before. But normally, parrots do not sound like that. Can we show them what you really sound like? With your loud, the loud one. Ready? Okay, scratch your head. But then show them the scream. Your scream! Shh! 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 And that was Feathered Friends in Flight. You know, I'm really starting to second guess myself. As much as I've been here and the amount of things that I have not seen, I'm actually embarrassed to say that I haven't seen most of this stuff. The amount of times that I've come to Animal Kingdom and then not gone to any of these shows, just done the rides, is actually insane. I've missed out on so much at this park just thinking it was a half day park. and. Here it's, I don't know, almost three o'clock and I still got a ton of stuff to do today. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you see all the magnificent things that there are that this park, that this park offers. And you dedicate a day to being here and just take your time, enjoy the animals, enjoy nature, enjoy everything that this park has to offer. It's not a half day park, it, it definitely can fill the entire day and the nice thing about this park is there's so much shade it doesn't feel as hot as it does in the other parks so take some time right now we're gonna head to Rafiki's and then after that I've got dinner at Tiffin's and we're gonna hit Pandora we're gonna do Flight of Passage and the V River Journey and then I think later tonight we'll do Cali River Rapids let's go We're gonna head on to the Wilderness Express. Take the train and see where it takes us. Cause I've never been on it before. This is all new experiences for me today. Like I said, I'm actually ashamed to say I've not done any of this.
holds Tigger. I am seriously in awe. We've been missing out for a long time. You know there's a lot of people that have commented on the page, talk about Rafiki's Planet Watch, the things that they do here, and I just never came back here. It is phenomenal for little kids, even adults. It's great to come back here. I definitely want to do the animation experience and do a drawing sometime. They were doing Tigger, Piglet was coming up next, but I have a Genie Plus pass for Avatar, and then I have dinner at Tiffin's, and then I have Nivy River Journey, and we're probably gonna do Cali River Rapids. So I, uh, I'm gonna head off the island here, take the train back, and then we'll head over to Avatar, which unfortunately, because that's 3D, I can't take this on. You won't see anything anyway. So we'll head over there and then we'll do Tiffin's and continue with our day. Because we're nowhere close to done. There's just so much to do here that I never even imagined to do. What an absolute phenomenal meal I just had at Tiffin's. I had the cardamom spiced veal, a tempting tigress, which is a, a delicious bourbon drink, and then I had the white chocolate orange creme brulee. Phenomenal. I, I don't know how many times I gotta say it. I have really been missing out on Animal Kingdom. Like this has, this trip has really turned this into one of my favorite parks. There is just absolutely so much to do here, so much fun. I love the nature, I love the animals. I just love all of the experiences that Animal Kingdom has to offer. Yeah, you got princesses and rides and all that stuff. The fireworks, yeah, it's hard to beat that. That's something special, but to come here during the day and wander around, see all the animals is just phenomenal. I've, I've really truly missed out. I, I wish I would have been exploring here a lot more than I have been. So we're gonna head back up and we're gonna go check out some more things that we haven't seen yet. It's just incredible how much I haven't seen here. So let's go.
what a fantastic ride. Really needed that soaking to cool off from the heat. It's a five minute wait. You can't pass up on that one. So we jumped on there. Lots of fun people on our, ra our raft. And so we're gonna head up to the Marara, Ra Ra Ra, whatever, right? Mahara Ra Jungle Track. I don't know, tell me how to pronounce it. But we're gonna go check it out because I've never been here. So soaking wet, let's go. really unfortunate uh, after coming off of that somewhere I lost the microphone so I may have been talking and had a lot of audio and things to say but now it's gone so well, I guess I just probably need to look into better microphones that last longer or make sure when I'm taking breaks I'm charging them because it wasn't the receiver or the transmitter whatever it is it was the actual microphone itself. So let's go ride. Nibby River Journey. And wander out. As you can see by the water here, the pod is spraying again. So it must have just been off because of the winter weather. And now it's warm again because they're post COVID. All the water features have shut off for a while. Here it comes. Here it is. It's a refreshing and a hot day.
What a great ride. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope the footage turned out really good. I used the S24 instead of the GoPro. I found that the S24 films a lot better in the low light situations. It looked really good as I was filming, so hopefully it turns out really good when I edit. And you can see what Nivy River Journey looks like. Look, it's King Julian and some of his brothers, or maybe a sister, I don't know, just hanging out in the trees. setting and the lights are coming on Animal Kingdom. We're gonna walk around a little bit, check everything out, and our last stop on the way out we're gonna try and go to Pandora. See if it's all lit up. We still have about 20 minutes before park closes. So we're gonna see what we can get for shots. I don't think it's gonna get dark enough though but you can see all the lights lit up. It just creates a, a stunning ambiance to an already beautiful park. You know, I have to say I am completely shocked at the volume of people not here. You think about every other park when it's five minutes to close, even after close, there's still a lot of people wandering around taking photos. Here, I don't see anybody. Very, very few people. This is such an underrated park. I'm gonna see if we can sneak down in through the back side of water. No, not the eighth wonder of the world. Um, the back side of Pandora. We're gonna 
go down that way and then head out. This is that side path I was talking about. It's telling me everyone's in for a treat because Pandora is the most beautiful land at night. There's no way to describe it. It's just phenomenal. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the adventure. I, I've really been missing out on Animal Kingdom. We did so much today that I have never done before. I absolutely thrilled at all the adventures that we did. So much fun wrapped up in one day and I didn't even do it all. I'll be back tomorrow to do Wild Africa Track. So watch for that video to show up. I know it's gonna be a blast. Everybody's talking about how great it is. I had so much fun today doing all the things that I've never seen before. I really messed up with Animal Kingdom. All these times that I've been here, and I've called it a half day park, rode the rides and just left. Not a, ever again. That This park has got so much to offer. Take your time, enjoy it. Enjoy the animals, enjoy all the natural aspects to it. It's not just about the rides and the food, there's some great entertainment. Make sure you see the shows. I didn't even get to see the Finding Nemo show. So I missed a lot yet today, even though I did a lot of things that I'd never done before. So now I get to try to figure out where my truck is. See you next time. Oh, and if you enjoyed the video and you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. And I'd like to hear your comments. Tell me what you think of the video. Tell me what you think I could do better. What you'd like to see more of, less of, whatever. Let me know. I make these videos for you. I have a blast doing this. I have fun at the parks. I'm gonna be doing a lot more content outside of the parks in different areas here coming up. So I really wanna hear what you're interested in, and what you'd like to see videos on. I'm getting a lot more comfortable with this. So I'd really like to give a lot more. So remember, um, like, comment, subscribe if you like the content. And I'm going to find my truck somewhere. 